been so worried about you two. Okay, well then it's time to stop. I happen to have married a very amazing man. Yes, you have. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, oh, Mom, I almost forgot. Uh, Mother's Day cards. Yeah, the oh. boys, they made them for you. I'm sorry oh. they're a little late. I made this one to my Aunt Brett. <laughs> Ian, when we inked him up, I'd let go of him and he put handprints all over the kitchen. It's very cute. Yeah. <sighs> so everything's fine. Thanks. <clears throat> Thanks. Oh, maybe you'd like to take a look. There's nothing wrong with me. The hell there isn't. Your CK is sky high, your protein's in the toilet, and your electrolytes, they're all out of whack. Out of whack, in the toilet, sky high. I'm not familiar with this uh, medical jargon. Too advanced for me. I'm fine, Frankie. Look, my numbers are stabilized. Okay, you two. W uh, tell us mortals what you're talking about. Well, he's still very seriously dehydrated and malnourished. But I'm improving. He's still kind of cute, too. Look, you need to give it 24 more hours, okay? At least until your electrolytes re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. Sorry if I scared you. I just need to get back to work. Yeah, well, you're not going to help anyone if you're dead. And I know you think you're smarter than everybody else in the world, but if you start listening to these guys, you're going to have to listen to me. Hmm. You ready to sign up with that for the rest of your life? Just give me a pen. Good answer. Oh, oh. When's the wedding? June. We expect you to be there. You'll be well nourished by then. June, huh? Well, I wish I could make it, but I won't be anywhere near this place. I have some incredibly humiliating and debasing tests to perform on this idiot right here. Mm -hmm. So, finish your drinks and please bounce with it. We'll just have to continue this at a proper pub once you get out of here. We're in America now, pal. It's called a bar. Go with the lingo. Got it, 007. Thank you for not dying. Hmm. Thanks for giving a damn. So, you don't have any more tests to run? Why'd you get them out of here like that? I really want to know what's going on with you, Jake. Something happened to you over there. Something ugly. So, talk to me. The ink is still wet on your medical degree, and now you're trying to shrink me. Uh, your mama tried that. I'll tell you something. Didn't work. Yeah, well, if anyone understands not wanting to talk about something, it's me. But, Jake, you've been more than a teacher to me. Always thought of you as a brother. And I discovered I had a platoon of brothers over in Iraq, and... To this day, I'm still not comfortable talking about what happened over there, unless it's with one of them. You know, the ones who made it back anyway. I guess I just wanted to... make the offer. Anyway, I gotta get going. <clears throat> you know how... Uh... When they ask you what happened over there, it just makes you want to punch them in the face. Yeah, and in the stomach, too. When I first got back, man, I couldn't handle it. I ended up living in the woods. Everybody wanted to know all the gory details. If you tell them any of the details, all it ends up doing is scaring them half to death. Been there, done that bought the t-shirt. Yeah. Frank and Frank. I want you to know that I always thought of you as a brother, too. An obnoxious, not no pain in the ass little brother, but a brother nonetheless. Well, you keep going. You got a girl waiting for you or something? Hey, 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 take it easy. Nobody's waiting for me. Okay. Why don't you hang around and help me finish off this six of it? Man streak, huh? <laughs> Thank you.
remember thinking back to when I was a kid, my mom lecturing me on gambling. The odds are always with the house. Play long enough and you're gonna lose. I started to, that's how I started to feel. The longer I survived, the shorter my eyes were getting. Hmm. Those are the people that I deal with. The ones whose odds have run out. The thing is, they're not soldiers. They're just civilians, just people. Take a mall, a mall in America, any, any town, USA. And fill it up with people, with moms and kids and babies and teenagers. Got it? Now picture them all being shot. Just mowed down. My job is to go find the ones that aren't dead yet and put them back together. How do you deal with that? You mean how do you stay sane? Depersonalize it? Don't get attached to anyone or anything. Go through the motions. Do your job. Think about yourself. Think about your feelings. You're a robot. Don't think about anyone. Anyone that Jake's eyes. I mean, he's trying to make believe everything was okay, but his eyes broke my heart. He's been through a lot, Greenley. I asked him what it was like. I mean, he told me a little. But amazing, he hasn't gone insane. Well, war is just one of those things, you know. It's just not easy to come come out of on the other side, you know. I don't ever want you to go into a situation like that again. I never want to see that look in your eyes. You won't. But I've got to be honest with you. I've had that look. I'm just lucky that I got rid of it. And now all I can think of is kissing those gorgeous lips of yours. You see that? That's the only thing that's important. Only thing. I know what happened. I understand it. And we moved on. And you were so afraid. I know. I underestimated what an amazing man I married. That's the last time you'll do that. The very last. Well, I can't tell you what a burden has been lifted. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. But we're worried about you, Mom. I mean, you're being here away from your family. I miss you. We all do. <laughs> 